just everywhere. 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 Calm down. And focus. Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is gonna be fun. It's I feel like it's one of like my favorite things to like watch um, just because I love makeup artists kit. Like I love to see what they have in their kit, what I can add. Um, and honestly, this the kit that I have today, not only do I feel confident that I can do any job from whether it be like editorial, super colorful, super crazy to a natural glam or wedding, I feel like my kit right now, I can do that. Um, and also just throughout the years, I've realized, okay, I, I barely ever use that if ever. Um, so I'm going to take that out or, um, I didn't have this exact color that they were looking for. Um, so let me add that to the kit or figure out something in between. Um, now this isn't <laughs> when you see, it, you're gonna be like, what the fuck? Um, so I do want to make some changes as far as to how I carry it. Um, but you'll see what I'm talking about here in a second. Um, uh, but yeah, if y'all have any questions on anything in my kit, why I use it, I'm going to try and explain why I use things, why, um, a certain brand or whatever. Um, let me know, you know, I'm open to growth. I'm open to hearing new things. I am open. I'm here for it. Um, and if there's something new that you haven't seen, um, or have any questions on anything, let me know. So I go went down the wrong way. Um, so really quick before I get into it, uh, I worked a wedding a few days ago. So most of my brushes are dirty, so they're not in my brush belt. Um, but also show your girl some grace because this is going to be a different angle. Like I'm going to try and like have the ink camera down so that you can see what, what I'm using or what I'm talking about. So show me grace. Um, and I think that's it. I think that's it. So yes, um, I have worked many, many weddings with this kid. I have worked many music videos, photo shoots, all that. Um, so she is very much so loved. If uh, you see makeup stains and you know how the fuck to help me get it out, let me know. Because I've gone through four brush belts because they just get stained. Um, I've gone through two makeup carriers, you'll see, and then I've gone through two foundation sets. And again, you'll see. Yes, if y'all want to see what is inside my makeup kit, just keep watching. Oh my gosh. I spilled water on my rug earlier and it's fucking on my sock. Anyway. Okay, so this is how I pull up to a makeup job. Okay, so I'm a backpack person. Now, don't come from for this backpack, okay? Don't come for this backpack because first off, it has sentimental value. I'm not a fan of cats, okay? But um, my sister gave this backpack to me years and years ago, and I was like, this damn thing is too big. I will never use it. Now, who's laughing? Because I use this all the time. So I do need to upgrade how I, upgrade how I carry my makeup. And then this little bugger right here holds my brushes and I'll kind of show y'all everything, but this is just something that goes around like that. And then I also carry my ring light, but I'm using it currently to provide light to this video, but let's get into it. Okay. So here we are. Um, first off, this is the bag that holds my brushes. Um, I'm just going to pull everything out. So it'll hold my brushes. And then this is the brush belt that I was saying is like stained, much loved. So if you have a recommendation on how to get rid of these stains, let me know. Okay, let me know. Okay, so it holds my brushes. And you, as a makeup artist, you always, always need paper towels. I have a fan. So I use this to um, um, fan down after setting spray and also to help the glue for the lashes dry a little bit faster. Beauty blenders, I'm obviously not going to a job, but just for the sake of this video, I put two beauty blenders in like a little Ziploc bag um, just to, to take them there. And also afterwards, after I finish a job, I just pop them back in here so I don't lose them. And then I have these cotton rounds that will make full circle here in a second. I have, I need to refill it. But this is my spray for alcohol. Um, so in between brushes, after after foundation, after powders, just spray the, um, can I talk? Um, so after I use products, I will normally spray them down. 
And then this is my eyelash, eyelash kind of like case. How would I say that? Did I say that right? So in here I have this little baggie right here that has um, mascara applicators. And honestly, there's a lot of, the only things that I use are these disposable mascara ones, my mascara, eyelash glue, tweezers to help with application, and then scissors to cut lashes. That's all I use out of this. So I could pretty much just talk, like, I don't even know. I don't even know. Like, why, why, I don't know. But anyway, I'll, I'll do it later. That's literally my mantra later. So there's that. And then inside I have some more disposable ones. Let me organize this while I'm going along. Okay, so this these bad boys right here are great for weddings because a lot of times um, like bridesmaids or the mom of the bride, um, mom of the groom really like natural light. So these ones I got from Amazon um, and they come like this. You pull them out. And there's just different styles. And even though um, they're different styles, they're all like natural. And they normally have the paper in between to help them from like, like falling in the back. But yeah, so there's five different styles in here. So I like those, like those little babies. And then I have extra mascara right here. And then I'll always carry, um, these are just what I have in here, but I'll always carry a little bit more glam lashes in case the, um, the girls that I'm glamming, whether it be the models or the bride or bridesmaids, whoever it may be, if they want a little bit more glam than natural. I'll also get like the Kiss and the um, Demi Wispies from Ardell or like the Kiss lashes, like the ones that come in like the five, I'm trying to get my hand gestures right. The ones that come in like the five set, um, I'll use those too. But just in case they want like a little bit more of an elevated look, I'll always carry like some fun ones. So let's move on to the juicy, the juicy. Okay, so in the big backpack I carry, this is the foundation that I use for my kit. Let me see, let me. Make sure you can see this. So this is the foundation that I use for my kit. Um, I love this. This is my second one of these. So there's 20 shades here. And what I love about this kit is one, it's pretty affordable. So I believe it's about 170 or 200 um, for all of the foundations. And then if you're a cream contour gal, it's great for cream contour. Of course, foundation, you can mix to get the perfect foundation color. And I love this also, obviously, for highlight. So it's like you're all in one and it's a cream foundation. It's a full coverage foundation. Um, so it works great for oily skin, dry skin, and really it goes all the way down. It really determines how you prep the skin. So prepping the skin is super, super important. I would never recommend just throwing this on unprepped skin, period. I wouldn't recommend putting foundation on unprepped skin, period. Um, but yes, yeah, so these are the foundations that I use my little traveling case right here and inside is where I have my powders eyebrows a few lipsticks lip liners eyeliners liquid lipsticks lip glosses um, and yes yeah, so I kind of I'll go through everything individually so in this side I keep my powders that I set and I have a business card here cool so in this side is where I keep my powders I like the Morphe powders, uh, A, because they're affordable, and B, because they work super beautifully when I'm setting. So I have the shade Banana, Banana Rich, and then Translucent Rich. And then if I have like a super, um, if I have a light complected woman, I'll use the RCMA No Color Powder to set her under eyes. And then here I have the Charlotte Tilbury, um, oh my gosh. I need to show her some love. Well, actually show her too much love. That's why she's looking crazy. But this is the Filmstar Bronze and Glow. Um, so this is what I use to contour um, the nose of like a fair, light-skinned um, client. Um, and honestly, I use this shade right here. It's seriously hitting pan, obviously. Um, I use this on the lid of most 
of my wedding clients um, just because it gives it like a nice sheen but it isn't too shiny too shimmery it's like perfection so that's what I use this little bad boy for over here I just have some glitters and one of them's open so that's great so over here I have this top over here was open and I just realized it which that's just fantastic but I have these Anastasia um, loose highlighter and I have the shade snowflake and so Hollywood so these are great for highlighters if they want that extra glam to highlight I mean it's on my hand right now it's beautiful or a lid shade if they want it a little bit more elevated and then also that inner corner glow if again they want more of an elevated look these are what I would use okay, so we're gonna go to this metal section right here and then this is where I keep my bronzers and highlighters so here I have two from Becca I have champagne pop and then Prosecco Pop. So I use Prosecco Pop on women of color, some somebody with a little bit more complexion, while I use Champagne Pop on medium to light skin tones. And then these are the bronzers I use. Now I don't use this Becca one too, too often. Um, she is really pretty, but I, I honestly don't use her too often. So this is the Fenty Bronzer and Mocha Mommy. So this is what I use for my deeper complected women. I'll use that one and also this one. This is a pressed mineral foundation. So even though this is a foundation powder, it is just so, so pretty on the skin, especially as foundation, as foundation, as bronzer. So this is in the shade 110 and I just started hitting fan on, fan, pan on her. So on my deeper complected women, I'll use the Fenty bronzer and then this one as well, because I love to mix bronzers to kind of make sure that it's like effortlessly blended, just so beautiful. So again, this is the shade 110. Um, I'll pair her and the, again, it's the same pressed mineral foundation from Cover FX in the shade 90. So I will pair both of these. I'll mix both of them for my um, light to medium complected women. Um, I will do it. I would use like a super light hand for a super light, light woman. Um, but yeah, so that's my highlighters and bronzers. And so let's move right along. Why are you acting a fool right now? For real, can y'all, can you just like not? So this is like already going slanted, which is fine, it's not a big deal. So here I just have some random lipsticks. These are in the shade Dance Floor Princess and Kim KW by Charlotte Tilbury. I love these shades, like such beautiful, beautiful, like wedding glam shades, super light. And then this is just a really, really pretty nude for clients. Now this bad boy, oh my gosh, everything is just like glowy now. Anywho, it's okay. It'll be okay, it's okay. So this bad boy right here is the Inglot Duraline. This, as a makeup artist, will save your ass every single time. Okay, your, um, your eyebrow gel a little dry, add a little bit of Duraline. Your, um, you wanna make your eyeliner waterproof, add a little bit of Duraline. You need a lipstick that you don't have in a in a sh in like um like a actual lipstick. Add this to eyeshadow to get that lipstick, and it's matte. It's a matte waterproof eyeshadow. So what this does is it adds moisture and it also makes it waterproof. Perfection. This is probably if I was to recommend anything in this kit, it's this. Amazing. I have a pencil sharpener here for lip liners. And then here I have the Morphe um, gel, what are you? The cream, it's a brow cream from Morphe. So I have three different shades. I have the shade, shade Almond. Um, so this is what I would use for brunette. I have the shade Bis, Biscotti, and this is what I would use for um, my blondes. And then I have the shade Char Chocolate Mousse. So this is what I find myself using for a woman of color or if, if, a, if a client has like super, super dark hair um, on their brows, that's her, okay. And so as far as eyeliner goes, I have the Inglot 77, which has been my tried and true. But as of recently, I'm noticing that it transfers and doesn't dry as, one, as much as I want to. So I have another eyeliner up here that I've been using, but this is so, so beautiful, super, super black, super beautiful. Um, so moving right along, I have my red lipsticks here. I have the NARS Star Woman. 
and then I have the Smashbox Always On. So these are the two shades. So I found myself using this for eyeshadow. Um, I found myself using it, of course, for liquid lipsticks. I've used this for blood. Um, I mean, you could use it for blush. However you feel like you, you can work it, use it. But these are the reds that I have. So this is a little bit of a deeper red, while this is a little bit more of a bright red. So awesome, beautiful, love it. Um, so I have this from Derma Blend, and it is the orange um, color corrector. Now, one super cool thing, I mean, I, I love this product, but what I think is just so, so cool is it goes from powder to cream. I just find that so cool. That's pretty much it. But yeah, I, I like having this in my kit just in case you have somebody with dark, dark circles. Or honestly, the wedding that I worked a few days ago, the grandma had a black eye from her grandson kicking her in the eye. It was super, super sad, super unfortunate. But this really came in handy to go ahead and color conceal, I mean, color correct the, the purple and the black, and then go ahead and add that uh, foundation. So color corrector is always, always great for your kit. So one thing you're gonna notice about my kit is that I really love lip glosses and I really love the Morphe lip glosses. So this is in the color Froze. I pretty much would top almost every single lip with this because it's so, so, so pretty. Absolutely love it. And as far as like the, the top of this goes, it's glosses, liquid lipsticks, lip, lip liners. Um, there's a there's a lip gloss over here. Her and Froze are like sisters, but um, I just don't have room. And if I put her here, it won't close. Anyway, so that's a lip gloss. But here is gonna be some um, eyeliners. So glosses, liquid lipsticks, lip liners, eyeliners. And so for my glosses, I have two more Morphe ones, and this is in the shade Froze. She's almost, she's almost done. So um, I have a backup, obviously. And then this is in the shade, it's a vibe, okay? It's a vibe. So I have those there and I always put them upside down so that I can see the shades. And then over here are my liquid lipsticks. So I have this one in the shade Savage. And this is such a pretty, I use this on almost every single bridesmaid. So it's like a nice nudie, but it's still like a pop of color. So, so pretty. And then it's kind of like getting that winter time and I've used this a handful of times. And this is the Kylie Cosmetics in Gorge. This is in Gorge, so it's like a nice Merlot color. And then this is the Stripped Liquid Lipstick from Anastasia for nice, pretty nudie. Okay, let's get into lip liners, okay? So actually I have, I wanted to take this time because I ordered one from ColourPop because my most used is Pillow Talk from Charlotte Tilbury. And so I got one from ColourPop and I kind of wanted to see how comparable these two are. Okay, I wanna see how comparable they are. Okay, so the ColourPop one is a little bit more orange than it is pink. Anyway, just something I wanted to do. Okay, so I, I'm gonna add her to the, to the little list anyway. So I have Pillow Talk from Charlotte Tilbury, very, very much so loved. I have this Avon one that is just so, so pretty. It's like a nice natural shade. This is in the shade T520. And the only reason why I have this in my kit is because someone gifted this to me and I love the shade so much. And I personally wasn't showing it much love, but when someone wants like a natural lip, I'll use this alongside with these strips from Anastasia and it's such a pretty color. And then I have the color Pops BFF3. This is such a pretty brownie shade. Again, for like a nice nudie lip. I have Max Quirk. And even though this one and the BFF3 are very, very similar, I honestly don't gravitate towards my MAC lip liners because of this. Because there's a $6 lip liner that is so much more creamier than the MAC, but I still have it in my kit. I have, what are you? Night Moth 
for MAC, and it's more of like that maroony shade. And then I have Chestnut. So Chestnut is what I would use for um, a nudie lip for a, a woman of color. So if you're like that medium to deeper skin tone, this is what I would use with probably stripped from um, Anastasia for a beautiful nudie lip. And then of course I'm adding this color pop to the family. I'm not quite sure. Actually, I don't know if I'm gonna add her to the family. She's like too, too light, too peachy. You know what, we'll see. We gonna see. We gonna see. And again, I like to put them upside down just so I can see the shades. So moving right along, I have this um, jumbo eye pencil from NYX in the color Milk. And so, and then this little um, NYX vinyl liquid liner in black. Um, so this is what I've been using instead of my Inglot 77. It dries so fast and I absolutely love this brush. It's like a little baby paintbrush. So I love that. And I personally use, I have, I have another one that I personally use. And then this is just fun to have like as a base. You can run this along the eyeliner. I actually had a client that always loved this from the inner corner of her eye to about the midway of her eye. And then I would follow it with the Anastasia, this little shade right over here. And she loved that look. Like we did it on her multiple, multiple times. So I just like to have a little bit of variety in, in the kit. Um, but I can honestly say like with this right here alongside my foundation, I have not ever had something that I don't, I've never not had something I needed. But let's move on, shall we? So this bad boy is going to hold my skincare and eyeshadows. So as far as skincare goes, I always like to cleanse the skin first. And I use this micellar water with the cotton rounds that I had earlier. So after I cleanse the skin, I like to um, moisturize and I use the confidence in a gel lotion. So the reason why I use this is because it's lightweight but still moisturizing. So it can really help, or it really benefits both the dry and the oily skin client without it just sitting on the skin. And of course, as you're put, applying it, you can feel like the skin, you know, absorbing it. And then I like to use this photo, the Smashbox Primerizer. I have a, a backup one because this one's about to run out. Again, it provides moisture while still priming the skin. And I like to work it in until I feel like the skin is absorbing it. And then for a primer, also I use two primers. I use this e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. This stuff is bomb as shit. If you don't have any of this, go get you some because it helps blur fine lines, it fills in pores, it, it helps with any texture of the skin. This right here, she's the one. Then I have this Morphe Luminous Setting Spray. What I mainly use this for is I'll spray it on a brush before doing the eyeshadow look. So mainly for weddings. So what I do is I'll grab a brush, I'll spray it, and then I'll go in with this eyeshadow and then apply it on the eye. So it makes that this eyeshadow a little bit more pigmented. Um, and it's super, super pretty, it smells good. So yeah, I use this if I want a more intense shade for the eyeshadow. And then lastly, I use the Morphe Continuous set, uh, Setting Spray or set, Setting Mist to set the foundation and then I follow it with my with my fan, so I like the setting spray. Okay, let's move on to eyeshadows. Okay, so for eyeshadows, I have three eyeshadow palettes in here that I'm actually, I'm gonna switch one for this one. So really quick, this is, she's new to the family. Okay, I just got her a few days ago. This is from ColourPop and it's called Bare Necessities. And I'm obsessed, I haven't used it yet. Just obsessed, okay, and I'm gonna show you why. Okay, I'm just going to show you why. But she is going to be just like a perfect addition alongside my MAC one. Um, just because the range is so gorgeous. It has cool tone bronze. It has warm tone bron bronze. Cool tone browns and warm tone browns. It has great transitional shades right over here. It's just beautiful. And then it can, it can work for my light complected clients, my deeper complected clients. It's just beautiful. And it has just a little bit of like the maroons and purples in there, mauvies that people... Have asked for in the past and of course we got us a black okay this is my mac eyeshadow and blush palette this of the two that i had is a little bit more cool tone and then it also has six 
or five bl blushes and then one bronzer. There's two in here that have a little bit of a sheen and then three that are matte. And of course this bronzer that I haven't used, but it's in the shade Blunt. Blunt, but yes. Oh no, why did I do that here? And so this is the one, it's so sad. I made this one myself. You can go on colourpop.com and create your own eyeshadow palette. I have dropped this so many times. This got this one's gone. I, I broke another one and it's just RIP. So I needed another one to replace this, but I think I might still carry her. Maybe. But I really don't need to. I don't know. I just feel really sad that I just kept dropping this and broke it. It's just sad. But you see how it can easily take the place of the of this. This one can take the place of this one just so easily. Like, like it's, it's not going to be missed. As much as I love her, it's not going to be missed. And then this is one that I super, super love. This is from Morphe. It's the mini James Charles palette. Again, a lot of love shown. So we have our vibrant colors here. We still have some browns and, you know, things that you could use. This is a beautiful transitional shade, as is this one on my lighter complected women. Um, but one thing that I love about this is if I don't have an, the right lipstick in here, if they want to do like a blue lipstick, a green lipstick, a hot pink lipstick, I obviously don't have that. But you can just scratch a little bit of this. I forgot to show you all the side zipper. I want to show you in the zipper I didn't show you before but I have this little plate here so if you don't have the lipstick you take a little bit of the eyeshadow let me let me let me do a little science experiment or I'm not I'm actually not gonna do it but you can catch the drip so you can just shave a little bit of the lipstick into the pan and then add a little bit of the Duraline and then get that shade that you want as a lipstick just 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 perfect just makes me so happy so she's the one if I have if if they want to do a little bit more fun colors so yeah just pop them back in here and again this is super loved as well so there's makeup stains and all that but whenever I get to a job I pull everything out and I just place everything on the counter just so it's like easy access especially if I have multiple clients so I'm not like you know what I mean? Actually, I keep I keep this stuff in here. I don't know why I did that. I keep this stuff in here. Okay, guys. So that was what was inside my makeup kit. My throat is so dry from talking so much. Um, and I have my little swatches here that I'm pretty sure I'm going to get somewhere else on my clothing. Um, but yeah, so if you have any recommendations on something that I could benefit from, tell your girl. And if you have any questions on something that I have, ask your girl. <laughs> And um, yeah, so y'all saw those, y'all saw those, y'all saw those makeup stains. Okay, my stuff is so so loved. I use it so much throughout the week, um, and it's first off so difficult to keep clean, and then second of all, almost impossible to clean. Um, I've scrubbed that makeup brush belt so many times. I I, I don't know. I don't know. I try. I try. Um, but yeah, if y'all have any questions, let me know. Um, I think the next video I'm going to film is my postpartum depression video. Um, that one's going to be a little deep. Um, but yeah, just stick around for my next videos because I have a few other ones. I have a, a, the, day in the, makeup of, the day in the life of a makeup artist coming up as well. Um, and I think that's it. Okay, I think that is it. Okay, guys, thank y'all so much again for watching and supporting me. It means so, so much to me. Um, other than that, I love you so much. You can do anything you want. I try, I'm try. i going to try not to be as cheesy at the end as the last one. Um, but honestly, you can do anything you want. Absolutely anything you want in this world. Uh, you can have because it exists already. Go get it, boo. Um, other than that, I love you guys. Again, thank you so much for your support, and I'll see y'all next time.